Nobody wants hidden costs in their projects. That's why when we're budgeting for software, we got to think of four different types of budgeting. We have building, maintenance, operating, and remodeling costs. All four of those need to go into the bigger picture over the life cycle of your project. The first thing that we need to think about when budgeting for software is our cost to build the original product. This is where you work with the team and you tell them all of the features and everything that you want completed. They ask you a series of questions, break things down into small chunks, they create estimates, and then they come back from those estimates with a time period and a talent cost. So the people and the time that it's going to take to produce the software that, that you desire. Now that estimate is going to change slightly throughout the, the life cycle of the building of that project. As new information comes in, you will change and go back. So we typically like to pad that estimate just a little bit, uh, 10 to 15%, because surprises are always better than disappointments. As we're moving along, changing features and the plans that we want to move can affect the build budget. Uh, oftentimes what we try to do is we figure out ways that we can make trade-offs. Oh, we are going to replace this feature with this feature, or we want to increase the size of this feature, decrease the size of this one. And we try to find trade-offs so that we can stick to uh, an original budget. But all the while we're trying to move toward a minimum viable product, which is the product that is minimally needed in order for users to actually care to switch from what they're currently doing to this new process. We can look at an extended build project as long as we know what things are going to come next. But once you start getting user feedback, a lot of times that changes the things that are next. So we need to stick to a minimum viable product as much as possible so that we can leave room for that expanding budget later. And that original budget, if we don't leave room for it and we make all these plans, now we've spent money on time on planning things that we may or may not do. So we want to really try to slim this down. We love building software and planning to build software. It's really exciting to us. So if you have any questions or thoughts, please don't hesitate to reach out. We'd love to help you or give you some pointers along the way.